Hello everybody, this is Lake Minecraft, and today I'm going to be bringing you another PEX tutorial, and this one's going to be on using PEX to add different permissions for each world. So what you're going to need is Permissions X, a Chat Manager, um, Multiverse Core, Multiverse Portals is optional, and uh, Modify Worlds is optional too. Um, I recommend watching my multi Multiverse tutorial first, as I won't be going too in-depth on how I do everything in that in this video. Alright, next thing, you're going to want to run your server with those plugins installed, links to all of them in the description as always. First thing you're going to want to do, go into Multiverse Core, Config, Open with Notepad++, link in the description. Go to Prefix Chat, set that to false. Um, if I can learn to spell. Save that. Next, you're going to want to go into PEX, and this is where we're going to be spending the bulk of our time. You've got our default group. Yours might look different if you already have a server, but this is just a new file. So here's your file. You're going to want to go four spaces in, and you're going to type worlds, and then a colon, and then four four spaces in and then two more and then your world name so to create another world you're gonna go into your console and you're gonna type MV create your world name we're gonna call our world QUE 1124 no um, we'll call it we'll call it spleef even though it's not a spleef world and it's a normal world so we we'll write normal after it so now it's uh, creating spleef now this can take a sec and you can do these commands from in-game as well if you have the correct permissions um, there we go. Now we have a spleef world. Um, no, we don't need to reload that. Um, no. All right, reopen the permissions file, and you're going to want to add the worlds tag, just like where you have permissions, and then four spaces in, and then two more. You're going to add the world name. So our world name is spleef, colon, Let's get rid of these annoying tabs, and then two spaces in from spleef, you're going to want to write permissions just like you have above and we're going to give ourselves the permission multi modify world dot chat and then we're going to give ourselves modify world dot star but we're also going to negate modify world dot star so now when we're in the spleef world we'll be able to chat but we won't be able to do anything else and when we're in the default world we'll be able to do everything so it's fairly straightforward. You can add any prefix you need. I'm um, not prefix, any permission you need in here. And you can add more worlds. Like if I go like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, and say if I had a world called bacon, I could add permissions to that fairly easy. So that's how it's done. Um, the world is six spaces in. The permissions are eight spaces in. So let's save that and reload our server and then get in game. Alright, there is one thing I forgot. You're going to need to give yourself a permission to TP to and from worlds, or you can create portals like I showed in the tutorial, and that permission is multiverse.teleport.self.star. Um, that's pretty straightforward, but as you can see in this world, I can break blocks, fun, I can, I can place blocks, oh, here they are, I wonder where the cactus is what, and I can chat, hello. So, what the hell, um, not what I meant to type, but not the point. So I can do everything in this world because I have multiver mul modify world dot star. Now if I do slash mvtp qe1124 spleef, which is the permission node that you that I forgot in the other bit, it will teleport me to the spleef world where I'm going to spawn, unfortunately, in a ocean, and I will be right back. All right, so here I am in the other world, and you'll notice if I try and break blocks, I cannot. I'm not near spawn, so it's not spawn protection that's stopping me. Break blocks. I can't place blocks, I can't do anything, I can't hold blocks in my hand. If I go into the console and uh, say I give myself something, so give Q1124101 lava, it's there, but if I mouse over it, it disappears. So that's how it works. Um, I, can all, I can still chat, which is the one thing I allowed myself to do. So for instance, you could create a world that's like a museum or just to show off builds and people would only be able to talk. So that's pretty much it. That's how you do multiple world permissions in PEX. Super useful if you want to have free build world and spleef world, for instance, because in spleef you don't want people to be able to, well, spleef you do want them to be able to build. But for other mini games like paintball and stuff, you don't want people to be able to build, and this is super useful for that. Um, I will also be doing a tutorial on multi-world permissions with Group Manager. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.